Welcome to the backyard. I'm just going to give you a site overview of what we're going to be looking at in the next however long it takes me to show you all what's growing back here. It's quite a bit that's growing back here, and it's quite a bit that's not. So let's get started. All right, so I just got back from my morning run, y'all, 3.4 miles. So I won't flip the camera around because I don't want to scare anyone. But as of right now, I have Journey locked up for a reason right now, but um, she'll be out in a minute. This is what this is looking like right here. We bought this little quick, cheap thing at Joe V's because we had the graduation party the other day here. But um, anyway, just some flowers growing right there. And let's start over here and see how fast I can give you all this update. All right, so this is, I'm trying to do this without editing y'all so I can get this up to y'all because I haven't given you all an update in a long time. This is the berries that's growing. I'm going to come out here and harvest everything after I show you all what's growing. It is a ton of berries that's coming through. That is the celery and that is the jasmine that has died back. Um, all the flowers rather. So it's a spider web, sorry. So now it's just the jasmine vine. All right, so this right here that's growing is cantaloupe. I need to get some stockings so I can tie them up on the vine, but it's a couple of them that's coming up over here. I'm not going to show y'all every single one, but um, yeah, this I thought was something else when I first dropped it. I thought it was the mini melons, but it's all good. This right here is a tomato plant that's growing wildly over here. My banana plant from last year is now two plants <laughs> probably should move one to another pot but not right now there's a bunch of tomatoes growing right here there's some alma tomatoes growing somewhere around here i don't even know what this is that's down here i just watered all this there's spider webs everywhere yeah i knew something was going to get to this i knew it i couldn't get out here fast enough Y'all can't get out here fast enough. It's been so much going on out here. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'll come back and get all this today and get rid of that one. But these are growing so good. So good, so good, so good. These are called Camaro. Camaro tomatoes. But you see something's eating some of them. So, I would probably just let those turn in the window just to get everything out. There is some anise growing. There is some dinosaur kale. These are okras. By now, my okra would have been stupid tall. But y'all don't know what's going on with this particular bed. I haven't had okra growing this bed before. So I don't know if it's the bed that need to be amended. But I'm probably going to drop some more seeds and see what happens. That is some um, onions that come back year after year after year. This is a sunflower that I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. It just came out of nowhere, y'all. All right, let's head over here. We have some peppers growing, a bunch of spider webs, look like. Oh. We have the marachi peppers, which are these. We have some chili peppers, which are those. Shard keeps growing, keeps growing. We have these, which are sweet heat peppers. I made some green salsa yesterday with that. And I think this is morning glory that's like growing all over here. All of my towers need to be amended so bad and like new stuff or new seeds dropped. It's just really going crazy right now. What are these? Oh, these are shishito peppers. I'm sorry, y'all. These are shishito peppers. I don't know why I got them confused with something else. Mm. Okay. Anyway, this was borage. It has died back and I've only been able to harvest some of these flowers. So that bites. The heat came so quick. We're in the hundreds now. So it just came too quick for me. This is the basil, cinnamon basil. These are sweet banana peppers. Some more basil, more peppers. This is cinnamon basil right here. I can smell it like from right here, it's crazy. Some more um, sweet bananas. And then we move over here. These are those yellow tomatoes that keep growing. It doesn't get tall at all. Now that I know that variety, I'll probably grow that in a container next time. This is that amaranth that grows crazy. It just pops up out of nowhere. It keeps coming back. Some more anise down there. That is an okra plant right there that's trying to come through. More sunflowers back here. This is crazy wild. This is like everything plus 
carrots. I don't even know what's all it back here or down here to be honest. Um, but all these will be pulled today, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm gonna come out here and, and try to get some of this stuff out. But yeah, so these are my favorite. I told y'all the wild cherry tomatoes is going crazy from that um, tower right there. These have like bugs on them. I don't know, it came so quick. I'm telling y'all the heat came so quick that I had to cover it. Like I do every year. It's just that um, mid-May, like 100 degrees was just ridiculous. It shouldn't even been that hot that quick. But yeah, so tomatoes are still growing and this little thing right here. Um, I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. I just have it covered like this for right now. I need to get a darker shade cloth like I always do. But for right now, I didn't, th I didn't think it was gonna get that hot that fast. So that's why I don't have one. But um, what are these? I think these are sweet 100s. No, these are sugar. The sugar tomatoes, these little bitty ones like this. Yeah, and then these are growing too. Every, all the tomatoes are just looking good. Except for this one. This is that um, old German. It never gave me a tomato. I don't know why. I mean, I fed it. Now the leaves are curling. So, girl, I'm about to get rid of that plant. No, ma'am. Uh, teddy bear, sunflower, teddy bear, um, marigolds, marigolds. Y'all know I love these. I have my zinnias over here. A bunch of wild cherry tomatoes back there. Like I said, all these need to be redone and reseeded, and they will be. And I will add uh, some beneficials to it, like um, worm casting, compost, etc., etc. These are my some of my favorite tomatoes. These will grow through the hottest of hot heat. And these are the yellow pear tomatoes. I have a ton of those. I'm always picking those. And I'm always getting the suckers off of here because they grow so good. Some more, I guess, random basil. Maybe it's from last year. This is chocolate mint. Obsessed. What else is over here? More tomatoes. Just a ton of tomatoes, y'all. And everything needs to be picked. I don't know if y'all remember when we moved the strawberries over here into the pockets that were just, I think, came back from last year growing in the ground. I moved them over here. Yeah, see, more tomatoes. All these need to be taken inside. See this? This is how you know it's time to do what we got to do. Fertilize, banana water, etc., etc. We need all that right now. See, they're just, we have a lot of birds back here, by the way. But this net is going to stop some of that. Oh, one of the kids left one strawberry. <laughs> it was a couple of them on here, but I guess they ate them all. More mint. And that's you. That's just the top of this whole thing. Just a minute. Um, I'll get all these. Um, during the party, a lot of people came in the backyard and picked a whole bunch of tomatoes. So, I mean, what we have is what we have left. Because, yeah, I just let them pick what they wanted. This area right here is kind of bare. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I should just go get some starch from like that garden place. Or should I just drop seeds? I don't know. It's so hot already. And y'all know how I get when it's hot. But this is a squash. And I see a bunch of like males. No females. Girl, like what is going on? So, I'm just waiting. I see a boar is already eating through that one. I put four, like someone told me at the bottom. I mean, it's, not, it's working, but it's not working. Like, I'm still not getting fruit from it or vegetables from it. More tomatoes. This is broccoli I've had for over a year now. I just keep chopping it, and more broccoli grows. And more broccoli will probably pop, pop up out of there soon. A pepper, some more basil, some more peppers back there. All up here is kale seeds that I seeded not too long ago so kale should be popping back up because it's time for me to get rid of the kale that's been here for over a year like all this kale and this kale with the bugs i'm gonna pull all this up and then um put something else here and just rotate i might put some um okra here we'll see but anyway another pepper plant that i picked up recently and this is a some type of jalapeno it's like the hottest jalapeno you can purchase or whatever so i got that we'll see how that goes and so they're starting to fill out just a little bit but like i said all this is about to go that's about to go just trash there is a okra plant here trying to do something but it's it's not really surviving it's not really doing well um 
All right, so here is another plant that's been eaten. Like, you can see how they get through there and eat up your plants. It's ridiculous. That's just horrible. Oh my goodness. It's just horrible, y'all. They just come through. The heat comes so fast with the humidity, then the bugs come. Then you kind of like have to start over here. And either you grow through summer or you don't. And I prefer to grow through summer. So, yeah, all this will be cut back. I'll spray real good so we can stop that from coming. And this came back this year. Y'all know I used to have a bunch of these flowers. I don't know what they're called, but they get pretty tall and they attract a lot of bees. All right, I don't even know what type of squash this is. I think it's the big round orange ones that grow. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a ball there. I don't even know. I just kind of left the grass here, but I probably should spray this area too. Yeah, see, I don't know what that is. Is it closed? It's already closed. Maybe I'll open it and see if I can do it by hand, pollinate it by hand. But there's bugs over here too. This kale don't look as bad. And this pepper is doing okay. This pepper plant right here. These are the ones that turn purple. Love those. More flowers at the top. Lemongrass. These are just some jalapenos. And yeah. That's what's growing over here. And a cat tore this up, of course. I came out here and he was just laying there scratching. And I was like, oh my goodness. <sighs> you think Journey would keep the cat from tearing up my furniture? <laughs> Not. Anyway, so this is a tomatillo. And it's huge. It is so big. I don't know why it's this big or why. I don't even know what's going on with it. I don't even know how to... Um, like pollinated. I don't know if I use a Q-tip on these or not. Like, what? How do you do this on these? Um, hmm. Cause I don't have any growing. I don't see yet. Ooh, I'm itching. All right, another random sunflower. Let me crank this up a little bit. All right, more peppers. I know it was some flowers seeded here, like those Dollar Tree flowers, but. Um, yeah, I don't think they're going to last because of the heat here, but we'll see. If they come, they come. If they don't, they don't. Here are some chives. Y'all know this is dried up, so this is more onion seeds um, to replant. It's a mess. I need the weedy so bad. Oh, my goodness. Another strawberry right there. I don't know what this is. Y'all, this is growing like way over here from here. I wonder what this is. I hate that the stem looks like that, but it is what it is. I know carrots are gonna pop up right here. So I put some carrots here. Like I said, I need to cut back that dinosaur kale. These are so pretty. They're just really pokey though. And they just come back every year. They're definitely a perennial flower. All right, we're gonna swing around the back fence. This is the pear tree, which is doing absolutely nothing and probably won't until we put it in the ground. I did dig up that last big, huge plant, that green, collard green, and it's gone. It never went to flower because it had too many bugs. So I'm going to amend this, take out, you know, whatever's in here, add something to make uh, space for some other seeds or plant. So this is the lemon, Meyer. No lemons, of course. These are cucumber, um, lemon cucumbers on this side. And I think the small pickling cucumbers on that side is what that is. And I'll show you what they look like when they're little. They get a little bit bigger. And you slice them like lemons. But they taste like cucumbers with a little hint of lemon squeezed on top, maybe. That's what it tastes like to me. Yeah, so that's that. The pomegranate tree knocked all of the pomegranates off when the the pomegranates actually fell off when the storm came. So hold on, I had to get that vine off of there. But yeah, that's what the pomegranate looks like, full and pretty, full and pretty. And there is a ugly bug. <sighs> they just keep coming. Anyway, so over here is a mosh posh. I don't even know what that is. That's a type of something. 
I think that's a cucumber, like a mini. I don't know what that is. Where did it come from? Mm. Not sure what that is. Some type of cucumber. Here's a bunch of peppers. Here's a tomato. I did drop two tomatoes in here that were um, in the kitchen for a while getting roots on them. And they're back there. They'll come up out of nowhere before you know it. More peppers. More peppers. Another tomato with a ton of suckers. So I need to take this big huge sucker off, right? This is a sunflower corn. Yep, some corn. This is a, a marigold. It shot up out of nowhere. Wow, okay. Some basil. This is passion fruit that's growing on this vine. That's what that is. I've never grown it before, so I figured why not try. Here are some peppers. A Bulgarian carrot pepper. That's what these are. They turn yellow and they look like little carrots. When they turn yellow and they're spicy. These are some type of spicy pepper. I forget what they're called. But you just dry them and make seasonal herbs out of it. Love seeing this out my window. When I'm in the kitchen. Love that purple pop of color. Here are some health kick tomatoes. That's why I like to have tomatoes all over the garden so that if the right side or the left side get infested with bugs, we still have some on the other side type of situation. So y'all know these are hot. Anytime I see red like this, I'm like, oh yeah, that's hot. I think these are called, do I have a stick in here? I thought I did. These are called um, Thai bur Barapa. Thai Barapa. Whatever, child. And then these, oh yeah, these are time bombs. But you know what? I roasted these in salsa and they weren't that hot. So it's not that bad. First time ever growing a white eggplant. First time ever. Can't wait to fry that up. See what that tastes like. I know we love fried eggplant. Here's another eggplant right here. More flowers growing up. I think these are morning glories. It was supposed to shade this area. That was the original plan. Another eggplant in this raised bed. This one is more full and producing more than that one. If you notice, that one has more sun, I feel, than this one. I don't know why, but I think it's the way the sun comes up. And it's a bunch of eggplant popping up over here. There is... Ooh, Peppers over here. Peppers, peppers, peppers. Peppers, child. Eggplant, eggplant, eggplant. Um, more peppers. More corn. If you can see that corn. Marigold. These are the gypsy peppers. We've been harvesting those like crazy. I just harvested another eggplant the other day. Actually gave some away the other day. Some more tomatoes. Really cute fat tomatoes. This came from a sucker. This plant right here. And corn. Corn. All this corn is going to be picked up today. All this corn. Then my son's going to put it on the pit for me. So the corn did really good so far. I'm just going to succession plant some more corn and okra. And I don't know what else I'm going to grow. But right now, um, oh, mosquitoes are tearing me up. Mm. All right, so the bugs came and ate all my leaves off of my watermelon. These are those little small black watermelons, the sugar watermelons, but they're starting to come back, so I'm just letting them be. These are ground cherries. Um, here they go. They'll drop, and then they'll be ready to snack and eat on. It's a bunch of them on there, so I'm excited about that. That grew from seed. I got those seeds off of, I think, Amazon from, like, or Etsy, Etsy, Etsy. Here is another one of those little black small watermelon plants. I don't know what this one is. This might be just a sugar baby. But what I did was I wanted this area to be the area it can just sprawl across. All of the melons. So we'll see how that goes. And then I have mint and lemon balm. Everything... Everything is wet because I kind of sprayed everything this morning early. All right. 
this is more mint let me lift up this umbrella so that's what the like watermelon patch will hopefully be over here that's full of watermelon sugar babies or whatever i'm just going to do my best to grow them i'm gonna get a little bit more research on them i need to fertilize everything between today and tomorrow so um alaskan fish fertilizer and banana water that'll happen soon that's what everything looks like right there i just walked through and showed you all and now let's head to the other side all right so this side this was supposed to have been my flower patch but um yeah i don't know it's hot the flowers are just like man we're trying so i have zinnias and i have um nasturtiums uh, nasturtiums don't last long in heat so they did what they could do we harvested a ton of them we ate a bunch of flowers with salads and now it's time to pull all this up and plant some other flower seeds so or flowers so that's what i'll be doing in the next day or so these are those pretty purple flowers that bloom every day they're so pretty look at this bug just sitting in here this worm caterpillar whatever go ahead eat the sunflower just don't eat nothing else this back here is a tomato. I'm gonna fix it. That's a tomato back there. It's like all over the onions, but whatever. It's a zinnia, a very tall zinnia. And then, of course, this is my volunteer. I get one almost every year a sunflower that volunteers out of nowhere. So, I don't know, was it like 20 feet? <laughs> I don't know, it's huge. I keep cutting the flowers off and putting them inside in the vase. And it kind of helps to shade some of this back here, to be honest. And hopefully it keeps bugs off my cucumbers. But um, these are my zinnias. They're so pretty. I love zinnias. Another sunflower that is coming through. I think this is going to be like a red velvet one. That's what I'm thinking. These are beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh my God, they're so pretty. I forget the name, so I'm so sorry. But these are so beautiful anyway some more marigolds i don't know the variety of these i got a bunch of seeds from um the free heirloom seed company so every year i take those uh heads off and save the seeds inside the head so that's that this needs to be trimmed this is my pear tree hopefully this fall we have pears we shall see once again these are the nasturtiums that's dying back so it's time to put something else here and cucumbers this one don't look good at all anyway see what i'm saying y'all it's crazy this came back from when i used to have basil over here so that's that the uh, cucumbers are struggling they're just struggling right now i need to fertilize everybody and i will so i think on this side may be lemon cucumbers and this side may be just like real cucumbers like uh, those long skinny slicers we shall see another pretty zinnia i have some borage going down here hopefully this shade will keep them for me marigolds this is where i threw a bunch of seeds and just like just grow so over here um that's a cherry i don't know if it's dead or not y'all um, but here's another lemon cucumber so maybe I got it wrong. Maybe this size lemon cucumber, the other side slicer. And then last but not least is my peach tree. I'll come back and hang out with y'all another day. I just want to kind of walk through and show y'all what was going on. It's like 100 degrees. The high is like 114 today. So I'm dripping sweat. Plus I just came from my run. And then my body really needs to cool off. And I'm so hot. But my peach tree is loaded. Like, they're not ready but they're loaded loaded friend i love her she did good she did really good she came through for me and i love her for it y'all see all these peaches you see this this is miss peaches and some of these will go to the birds because <laughs> there's no way first of all i can't get all the way up there some of these have spots on them too but I can't even get all the way up there. Once you start smelling them when you walk out the door, right now they're hard to touch, so you know they're not ready. But they will be. If they were ready, trust me, my company would have took all these peaches, girl. Yeah, they're, they're almost, almost, but not ready. They're just loaded. So, Miss Peaches, I love her. Love her for this. She is just, she's awesome. She's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
All right, my son got to clean up the barbecue pit from when he barbecued for everybody. But this is my garden. This is what's growing. This is what's going on in Zone 9B. All right, so I'm going to go cool off a while, and then I'm going to come back and harvest. But I just love being out here. I love seeing... Uh, I just love seeing everything grow. I like harvesting, the experience of gardening. I don't like the heat. The Texas heat is so hard on us. These are persimmon and apple trees that you see here. That is a pecan tree. Hopefully it comes back. But yeah, sorry y'all. I can't show you what I look like. Y'all would be like, oh my gosh, she's soaking wet sweaty. I am. So I'm going to go make a plan for these towers. Either I'm going to go get some plants or I'm going to drop some seeds. And like I said, um, I might go get a, a, a few okra plants from that um, garden center I like going to. Man. Y'all always say, you know, how we grow so early, how we get so much food so early. We have to, y'all. You have to, or this heat will take you out. I'll see y'all probably the next day or so with another update and maybe some gardening we can do together. Hope you have an amazing holiday, a safe holiday, okay? Peace and blessings.